billions of stars. Funny thing, Mama knew the Bible well. She was the daughter of a minister whom she only referred to as Pastor. Although we had never met, I called him Granddaddy Pastor. But most people knew him as the Reverend Dr. Reginald A. Jordan, founder of the African Luminous Body of Christ Church in the affluent black neighborhood of Ladera Heights, minutes from our lower class neighborhood in Hyde Park. Pastor's organization was said to be a cult, which was the truth. During the 1970s, he trained under James Warren Jones of the People's Temple. Jones was known for leading a mass murder suicide in Guyana, in which his 918 followers drank cyanide poisoned Kool Aid. Pastor vowed to follow in his footsteps. Mama didn't want me involved with Pastor or his religion. She lived on the street, pregnant with me, until she moved in with Aunt Charlene. Charlene was her eldest sibling and the first to run from the cult. Charlene despised Pastor for the way he treated his kids. She also blamed him for Grandma Mabel's death. The day she died, Charlene left. With little help from anyone outside of Charlene, I never understood why Granddaddy Pastor never helped us. While he lived a wealthy life, we wallowed in poverty. I didn't care what Mama and Charlene said about the man all I wanted was a better life as a family. We all could have discovered how to become normal. I mean, I was already okay with being a fatherless child. Mama said it was in the universe's plan for everything to work out how it did. She thought it was best Pastor wasn't a part of our lives. Her favorite quote from the Bible was a line from the first book of John chapter 1 verse 5 that said, God is light. In him there is no darkness at all, which according to Mama meant there was a little part of Satan and God in all people. So if you focused on the good, you would never succumb to the devil. So any time I went through dark times, my imagination was the shine that kept me from being destroyed. The Lord's will is the Lord's way, is what Mama always said. I guess that meant the higher power up above was a stubborn person, as most men are. For some reason, Mama hardly ever took me to church, and the one time she had, it was to have me baptized. She told me it was her way to make sure I was protected. She declared, the supernatural will always save you. It'll help you before anybody else. Anytime I went to church, I felt loved and accepted, and something inside me made me feel better than I had ever felt. I wanted to go more often, but Mama would never take me. I hated that. She had odd theories about God. One night, sitting next to me in our living room, my mother told me she had proof God was a woman. I was intrigued, so I asked, How do you know God is a woman? She paused, smirking. How do I know? She said, giggling like a schoolgirl with a secret. How you know, Mama? I replied, like she was about to show me a magic trick. Let me show you, she said, an all-knowing gleam shining in her eye like she had every answer in the world. She took me to a nearby open window and pointed to the sky. If you look out deep into space and focus your eyes past the stars, you can see the universe's pussy. That's where the world comes from. For real, Mama? I said. Yes, baby. It is for real. Keep focusing, she said. So I stared deep into the heavens and saw the shape of something that outlined the stars. I didn't know what it was. At nine years old, I had never seen a pussy that didn't have fur and whiskers. But Mama, I still don't see it, I said. Give it time, baby. She placed her arm around my shoulders to encourage me. Take a deep breath and count to ten. It'll come. Trust me, she said. I counted to ten, and there it was. The universe's beautiful pussy, giving birth to billions of stars. I was so astonished, I froze. The only word I could get past my lips was, Wow. That evening, we watched the stars until it was time to go to sleep. If you enjoyed this episode and would like to show support, you can share, subscribe, and leave a review anywhere you get podcasts. You can also purchase the award-winning novel Cracks of Light by John Charles Reedberg anywhere you buy books. See you next episode.